Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be sharing with you the tutorial for a crochet mask. So this is the mask that I'm going to make for the kid size. You can say that this is a kind of a bear mask. Uh, this mask is actually a slight variation to the mask that I earlier shared in my channel. So this kind of mask is very popular nowadays. So this has already been uploaded and I have uh, put a lot of size variation, how you can uh, modify to any size that you want this was for the adult size uh, there is only one small difference that is here I have used single crochet and half double crochet and for this particular mask I am using single crochet and double crochet and the main difference that it will give is there is a slight protrusion here it doesn't lie flat like this one uh, if you see the N95 mask uh, that also I think there is a slight protrusion it doesn't lie flat on your nose and your mouth when you put on it so that is the only difference here between these two masks again if you are interested instead of you uh, using this I mean going for the bare thing what you can do is take the classic mask that is now quite popular and place some applique so you can put teddy bears or you can put unicorns or uh, if your kids are into superman and spider-man all the action figures you can put that kind of applique to the normal mask or you can uh, directly try to incorporate that in your mask so anything you can do it uh, here i have one more this is for a very small size i have not stitched it if you want you can do it so this you can use for a very small child so the size variation here i'll be here using this only uh, this is for a five to six year old it might fit you can modify to any particular size that you are looking for all the size details here i have actually mentioned in my uh, video that i have made for the classic mask so i'll put the, all the links in the description box you can check all of that and for making this particular thing I will be using acrylic yarn, 4, four ply medium weight acrylic yarn and a 5 mm crochet hook. Uh, for this project, it is preferred or recommended to use a cotton yarn because since it is very close to your mouth, natural fiber would be better. And also after every use, it is highly recommended that you use it, uh, you use, you wash it at high temperature. You can also use as a for filter another cotton you can a uh, piece of fabric you can stitch and inside this you can put filters or cotton cloth whatever is there with you so that also can be done i am not giving i'm not showing how to put this uh, sorry how to make this filter thing this has already been done i don't want to extend the video a bit too much so apart from that you will need a scissors and you will need different colored yarns you might need a black and a white and you will need a darning needle to stitch this up okay so now we'll start so we'll start the mask with a chain stitch now the amount of chain stitch will depend on the covering that you are looking for so here if you see it this is about five inches all right almost 12 and a half centimeter so this is the covering that i am looking for so whatever is your covering that you want you have to do the stitches like that and also uh, the number of stitches will also depend on the hook size that you are using and the yarn so here i have made 24 plus 1 that is 25 chain stitches so the chain stitch that you are going to do should be in multiples of 4 plus 1 all right Depending on the covering, you might have to increase or decrease the number of chain stitch. You can have either 20 or 28 or 32, whatever it is. Uh, depending on the covering, you can have more or less stitches. So here I have started with 24 plus 1. Multiples of 4 plus 1 you have to do. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to split the chain stitch in 3 parts. Alright, so it is like this that... I am using 24 that is a multiple of 4 I am going to divide it into half that is 12 so 12 I uh, will make 12 double crochets all right in this part and then again if you divide 12 by 2 it is 6 so what I will do is I will put the first 6 stitches as single crochet and the last 6 stitches as single crochet 
and in between I'll put 12 double crochet so that is how you are going to divide it like any multiple of 4 you can do it if you are going for 28 just divide into 2 that is 14 so 14 stitches will go uh, here in the center which will be double crochet then rest 14 you divide it as half so 7 and 7 so 7 single crochet in the first uh, and 7 single crochet in the last and 14 single crochet sorry 14 double crochet in the middle so that's how I'm going to do it and but I have said for multiples of 4 plus 1 so the 1 is nothing but the turning chain which we are going to skip so here I have started with 24 I'll skip the first stitch and in the second stitch I'll put a single crochet so the first six stitches will be single crochet so I'll put six single crochet stitches one two three four sorry four next one five and one more I have to put this is my six so here I have six single crochet I have skipped one stitch in the beginning so six single crochet next in the next 12 stitches I will be putting 12 double double crochets in the next 12 stitches that is one double crochet each in the next 12 stitches I hope you know how to do a single crochet and double crochet and if in case you are a complete beginner I will highly recommend you to watch any of the beginner series you have plenty of tutorials in the net regarding crochet basic stitches I will also link one video down in the description box if you are interested you can check that there are a couple of basic stitches in crochet if you know that you will be able to do any project so here I will complete doing 12 double crochet okay so here I have done one double crochet each in 12 stitches now I have six stitches remaining so in the last six stitches I am going to put single crochet all right so put one single crochet each in the last stick six stitches that are remaining so if you want a detailed guide to the sizing uh, of this mask uh, you can check the crochet mask tutorial there I have actually in detail given the sizing chart and all so you can check it if you have any questions with regard to the sizing part so here I have six single crochet 12 double crochet and six single crochet now this is what we are going to repeat all across the mask so next step is to put chain one and then turn now we have to work in the back loops so here you have your front loop here you have your back loop so in the back loops first six stitches we are going to put single crochet one two here three four five and six so six single crochet in the first six stitches sorry one single crochet in the first six stitches working in the back loops if you see here is a front loop there is a back loop next in the 12 stitches you have to put double crochet and that also we are going to work in the back loops so 12 double crochet in the back loops so this is my first one you have to just turn it a little to find the back loops this is your front this is your back this is my second like that I'll work 12 double crochet all right so here I have finished 12 double crochet working in the back loops now in the next six stitches the last six stitches you have to put single crochet and that too you will have to work in the back loops all right so here I have my first working in the back loops second
so here i have made single crochet in the last six stitches also and this completes my row two now you have to repeat row two so for starting row three or any row you have to start with chain one and then turn then put single crochet in the first six stitches 12 double crochet and then six single crochet all working in the back loops so you continue making this uh, for a couple of rows maybe six seven or eight depending on the covering that you are looking for so i'll just finish a couple of rows and then show you so here i have completed eight rows and this is how this finally looks um, so the number of rows as i have said you have you might have to increase or decrease depending on the covering that you are looking for for me eight round eight rows was enough now i'm going to put the last row with the ears so before that uh, i have just taken two stitch markers and just put it you don't have to do it just to explain it better i have used two uh, and uh, the stitch markers i have placed it in the uh, very first stitch where my double crochet starts and the stitch where my double crochet ends so here there are six stitches here i was doing my single crochets so after the six six stitches the seventh one where my double crochet ends there i have put a stitch marker and uh, this is the last stitch where the double crochet was ending and after that also i have six stitches left okay now we'll start and we'll start with a chain one and turn and in the first in the six stitches i'm going to make a slip stitch so while making the slip stitch i am going to use both the loops the front loop and back loop this is not done in back loops but normally using both the loops i am taking both the v's both the front and back loops and making six slip stitches till i reach my uh, stitch marker so here i have completed my six slip stitches I have reached my stitch marker now what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the stitch marker all right and then in the very next stitch I'm going to insert seven double crochet so after making six slip stitches skip the next one where the stitch marker was and insert seven double crochet in the next stitch skipping one stitch I'm going to insert seven double crochet so that seven double crochet will be my first year one two three four five six and one more seven all right so this completes my first year all the seven has gone in one stitch and you have to skip the next stitch so all this has gone in this stitch so i'm going to skip this stitch and in the very next stitch i'm going to slip stitch it so skipping one stitch slip stitch into the next one one second this is where i'm going to slip stitch i have skipped one stitch and i am going to make slip stitches all along till about i reach the next stitch markers so keep putting slip stitches so here and all i am going to slip stitch okay now there are three stitches remaining if you can see it all others i have put as a st slip stitches there are st three stitches remaining you can see here is the stitch marker so i am going to skip the stitch all right i am going to skip the stitch i will be slip uh, skipping the stitch where the stitch marker is and in this stitch i'm again going to put seven double crochet okay so basically what i'm doing is where the stitch marker is the stitch just before that i will be putting the ears that is i'll be putting seven double crochet for that so one two three four five six and one more sorry six and the last stitch so this completes my 
here all right next is your stitch marker that is the last double crochet that we were doing so i'll remove this all right i'll remove the stitch marker i'll skip that stitch and then make slip stitches so here i'll have again six slip stitches remaining all right i'll just explain it once more if you have any confusion i'll just finish the slip stitches here so here i have six slip stitches remaining which i have finished so this is how the thing looks so if you see what i have done is i was using six single crochet here and six single crochet here so in those stitches i had put slip stitches the very next stitch i had skipped and then made uh, seven double crochet to make the first tier and then put all the slip stitches in the remaining stitches just before the last stitch the one stitch beyond before that i had put seven double crochets uh, skipping the very next stitch both the sides and then slip stitching it so this completes the mask so this is how my mask now finally looks now what we are going to do is we are going to make the string um, the ch a couple of chain stitches that will go around your ears so for that <clears throat> i'll be making about 20 chain stitches uh, now that again depends on the person that you are going to make for so you might have to increase or decrease the chain stitches you might have to do a couple of stitches and check whether um, that fits it so here i have made about 20 chain stitches and once you have your chain stitch all you have to do is you have to turn your work like this and slip stitch into the other end so i'll just slip stitch here you just try it once you have made the chain stitch you just try it whether the covering and the your the length is fitting or not so you might have to adjust accordingly now what i'm going to do is i'm going to slip stitch all through the lower end or the bottom side of the mask so i'll just put all one row of slip stitch here and then again how much ever chain stitch you have put here you have to use the same thing so i'll put a slip stitch on this row and then chain 20 and slip stitch into the first stitch here i have finished the mask uh, i have made one uh, row of slip stitches after that i put chain 20 and slip stitch into the first stitch so here you can you can use the mask like this also but now i'll make the uh, eyes nose and mouth part so for that i'm going to take the uh, white yarn first of all i'm going to make a magic circle now if you find ma uh, making magic circle difficult you can make chain four and slip stitch to make a circle here i'm going to make a magic circle so for magic circle this is how i like to do i'll make an x all right insert the hook in the circle and then i'm going to pull up the working yarn so this makes my magic circle and after that i'll put chain three one two three this i'm going to count as a double crochet now apart from the uh, chain 3 I'll make 11 more double crochet in the circle so I'll make 11 double crochet so if I include chain 3 you should have a total of 12 double crochet in the magic circle so keep making double crochets 11 double crochet so here I have finished making 12 double crochet now in the chain three uh, the ch uh, three chain stitches that we have made in the chain three i'm going to slip stitch and then finish off this uh, circle so slip stitch and then slip stitch and then i'll just finish off this circle just cut it off and there you have your circle you can just pull the end to close any hole that you have so this will form the mouth so now we'll make the eyes and for that eyes i'm going to take a black color yarn since my darning needle has a very large eye i have uh, 
taken two strands of yarn you can do one strand itself you just have to pass two three times i mean the eyes you might have to do a couple more times so here what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the ears as my reference point and just i'm going to come down so here these two will be my placement points for the eyes so what i'm going to do is keeping this as my reference i'll put the eyes here so i'll take my darning needle and just about here i'll place my eyes so this is once i'll go one more time so i think i should be going one more time so three times would be fine if you are if your uh, yarn is much thinner than mine or you are just taking my i have four yarns so if you are taking two yarns you might have to go some four or five times so this thickness is enough for me so i'll just cut this here and then i will do for the next eyes so i'll just finish this part here so i'll just cut this off and uh, start for my next eye so this much is not enough i'll just thread it and do the second one so i have taken another strand of yarn and i'm going to make the second eye and i will place it almost here just below this double crochet ears that we have made seven stitches there i place and here also i'll go about three more times or till i have the thickness which matches the other eyes so two and i think this should be fine if you see it yeah it almost matches so depending on the thickness that you are looking for you just go a couple more times now i'll just cut this yarn and then i'll attach my white part so here i have attached the white circle on the mask now what i'm going to do is i'm again taking the black yarn and now we'll make the nose of it so for that uh, i'm going to first go at the top stitch just show you here okay i'll just pull the yarn out and then go through the center like this now i'll make a inverted v so for that i'll put my yarn at this stitch come out then again go to the center like this now go to the next v that is here this part and then go again through the center so this finishes my nose part so if you want you can go two three times uh, to make a thicker black thing black uh, i think this is a little bit thin so i'll go once again through the same things which i'll come out so instead of going once you can go twice to make it little more thicker that's what i'm going to do i'm again going to go through the center here so you can see the thickness has increased so like that i'll just go two three times i have gone three times and this is how this finally turned out to be and this is how the final look of the mask is you can insert the filter as i had shown earlier or you can use the mask as such or the best way would be to use it on top of a surgical mask hope this tutorial was helpful to you if it if you found it to be helpful please hit the like button if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing until next time bye thank you for watching